Hi everyone, Faisal here from Solaris Kit. And today I'm gonna to talk about how to heat your above ground swimming pool using solar energy. So it's the middle of May and I'm roughly in the middle of Scotland and the days are fortunately getting brighter uh, and longer and today's a, a great example of that, plenty of sunshine. Now what's really popular this time of year is to set up uh, an above ground swimming pool like this one in the garden so you can splash about with the kids and really make the most of the sunshine. Now when I set up the pool this morning, it was sitting at around 18 degrees. Uh, and that's a little bit too cold, especially for kids. We really want the pool to be around 25 degrees or a little bit higher, uh, depending on your comfort level. But the problem is heating up this volume of water to that kind of temperature uh, can be quite expensive. Uh, and also if you're worried about climate change, you could also be linked to carbon emissions, which isn't um, ideal. But the good news is, uh, is that solar energy is a great way of heating uh, a pool uh, like this. What we've done at Solaris Kit is developed the SP100 uh, kit. It's a completely do-it-yourself, uh, self-install uh, solar heating system, uh, which provides everything that you need to install a solar heating system uh, for a pool uh, like this. It includes the solar collectors, the pump, the piping, and the fittings. So what I'm gonna do in this video is just give you a really quick run through uh, of all those bits and pieces uh, and show you how it's performing uh, today in Scotland. So as you can imagine, the first key component with one of these systems is the solar collector. So let's have a quick look at those. So basically the job of the solar collector is to convert sunlight uh, into heat. Uh, that's, what, how, that's how a solar thermal collector works. Now Solaris Kit, we developed uh, a really new solar thermal collector based on prismatic geometry um, that you can see here. So it's got uh, a number of benefits. Uh, firstly, all you need to do is position the prisms somewhere sunny, so it could be on the roof or it could be on the ground, the lawn, uh, and because of its design, it's able to, to track the sun and really get all of that energy. Now when the solar collector absorbs uh, sunlight, what happens is the coil inside the prism gets really, really hot. Uh, and then it's really a simple case of pumping the water from the, so the swimming pool, sorry, through the solar collectors uh, and heating uh, the water. Now for our setup, we've actually got four solar collectors um, connected uh, and we've connected them as a daisy chain. So what I mean by that is the water from the swimming pool is pumped to the first collector gets heated up a little, comes out of the first collector, then goes to the second collector, gets heated up even further, comes out of the second collector to the third collector, and basically repeat it again until we get to the fourth and final collector. Now what happens at the fourth collector is we just run a pipe out of the outlet of that collector back to uh, the pool. So it's literally just a long piece of pipe that we drop back into the swimming pool so we can return all the heated water uh, through the solar collectors uh, back to the pool. And that process just repeats uh, all day long, as long as you've got sunshine and you want uh, heating. So for all of that to work, we obviously need a pump to circulate the water from the swimming pool through the solar collectors. So let's have a look at that next. Now, there's a couple of options uh, with the pump. Now, what's really common with these above ground swimming pools is to use the uh, filtering pump uh, that's quite often purchased alongside uh, these swimming pools. Now from our experience, what we find is that those pumps tend not to have too much power, they don't have a huge amount of oomph behind them. So if you try to couple that pump with soil collectors, then the flow rate can really drop. Uh, and that can really hinder the cleaning process of the swimming pool. Uh, and so our recommendation is leave the filtering pump um, untouched, uh, unhindered, uh, and maximize the, the cleaning process with the swimming pool uh, and install a separate pump for the pool heating side. So with our SP100 kits, what we do is we include uh, a really small 12 volt DC pump, uh, which you can see uh, right here. So this is what our pump looks like. Uh, it's a really small uh, pump that runs off 12 volts. Uh, so it uses a tiny amount of energy to, to run. Because it's 12 volts, it's also incredibly safe uh, to operate. Because it's low voltage, um, there's no risk of um, you know, electric shock or anything like that, which is uh, particularly important when kids are involved. Now, um, 
basically what happens is water is coming through that uh, fitting in here uh, and it's pumped through uh, this pipe. So I can actually feel the pipe vibrating because the pump is still switched on as we got a bit of sun. Uh, and so I can feel that water is actually flowing uh, in, in this pipe. Um, as I mentioned, uh, there's just a, another pipe running from the fourth and final collector uh, and literally you just drop that pipe uh, somewhere else inside the swimming pool, wherever uh, it's, it's convenient. So this is our, the pump that we use uh, because it's 12 watts. It's like running a light bulb uh, with this system. So we've had this pump running all day uh, and it's literally costed pence uh, to, to run. So it's coming up to half four in the afternoon uh, now. So the sun's starting to uh, get a bit low in the sky. Uh, but let's have a look and see what, how we're doing temperature wise. So we've got a, an ink bird uh, sensor just kind of floating around. Uh, and as you can see, we're, we're measuring 28.9 degrees. So we're just shy of 29 degrees Celsius. So putting my hand in, yeah, it's really nice and warm. It's a really comfortable temperature. Uh, and so uh, we've done all of that for uh, basically pence uh, because solar energy is doing all the heavy lifting with heating the, the swimming pool. So we've gone from a really uncomfortable 18 degrees to a super comfortable uh, 28 degrees. You could even just stop the heating process a little bit earlier if you wanted the, the pool to be at 25, 26 degrees. Uh, to turn the heating off, it's uh, as simple as just unplugging the pump and stopping the water flowing from the swimming pool back to uh, through the solar collectors. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's done a, a really good job uh, of, of heating water uh, and uh, at, with no carbon uh, as well. So as you can see, installing a solar heating system is pretty easy uh, to do and with our SP100 kit, you don't need any experience. Uh, with our kit, you can be up and running in a couple of hours. Uh, because our solar collectors are assembled on site, it's a great way of uh, teaching the little ones about solar energy because you can build the solar collectors with the kids as well, which is pretty fun. I'm looking forward to doing that with my daughter one day soon. So hopefully this video was useful. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, please add them to the bottom of this video. If you'd like to place an order for one of our kits, please visit slariskit.com. But thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.